Water bottles are not really that necessary. I don't really like cooking, so I was really happy to run away from kitchen duties. OBS is orientation broadcasting service. I low key joined, not low key, I joined Parade. And I would have just taken a request letter. God. <laughs> Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I remain your girl Pewa. If this is your first time here, you're so welcome to the family. Please don't forget to hit and subscribe button below. Subscribe. Also, like, comment, share my video. You know the vibe. If you're a returning subscriber, I see you, you're the real OG. Thank you so much for coming back. Okay. Now, guys, today I'll be sharing with you guys things I wish I knew before going for NYS camp. Okay, for context, I camped in Lagos State and Nigeria. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back, guys. Video. So, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, now the number one thing I wish I knew before going for camp is that water bottles are not really that necessary. Okay, I mean, especially for where I camped, I camped in Lagos State. like most of these water bottles just got missing you can easily just fetch or get um bottle water or pure water such as water whatever water bottles are not really allowed on the parade ground and if you mistakenly bring it or you maybe forgot and you just brought it along you will be um meant to like keep it somewhere and wherever you keep it like there are thousands of okay let me not exaggerate maybe hundreds if not thousands of water bottles there that you might easily misplace your own i took mine of course because i mean everybody saying take your water bottle i took mine but it was not really that useful because i could just like get um bottle water and be fine okay and it was not allowed on the parade ground so like what's moving on the second thing i wish i knew before going for camp is that you would donate money for some certain things like carnival okay depending on your platform the money might be maybe 1k 2k bear about right my own platoon i was in platoon nine we got ankara there about and we were asked to pay was it not one thousand or one five for like three yards so just you know represent your 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 platoon for carniva you can be representing the yoruba tribe Igbo, Alsa, ethic bbo whatever okay so you will be meant to like donate money in my term in my sorry in my um platoon it was kind of compulsory right so just know it. i didn't know that would be asked to donate money it was not like a big deal for me but i didn't know that i would be asked to donate money and people some other people too did not know that you'll be asked to donate money so this is one of the shockers i got in in my school. okay moving on guys my third point is that you know when you're doing your registration you'll be asked to fill in your shoe size your khaki size whether you wear a medium large or small guys those things are just for formality i'm not even going to lie to you because when you get to camp during registration i think that's the last step or second to last thing you get when you get to your platoon you will just you will just put like the khaki the crested vest your um your white and white right just put stuff like a, a bunch of stuff on chairs right you just be asked to just go and pick or they will even pick for you in my own time they just picked for me so there's a probability that your khaki boot is your khaki boot they call it i think so yeah your boots your jungle boots rather your jungle boots might be bigger than you or smaller than you so it's not your own responsibility to be looking for somebody that would exchange if it's bigger or smaller than you i mean your khaki trouser you can as well slim fit if it's too big for you but if it's too small for you then you have to look for somebody that can size or and that's willing to give you i was just lucky enough to to get my um jungle boot i use a size 41 i think i got the size 42 which was perfect because the jungle boots can be a bit tight especially for Mano war and the rest then for my trousers i got something that was a little bigger than me but that was not a problem because i could easily just slim fit okay and for my crested vest i mean it's just normal i mean you still throw in so you'll be fine and your belt your belt the people had issues with their belts so i did not have issues so what i'm just saying is that very restriction those um that that place you will fill in your size i mean it's not it's just for formality i'm not going to lie like when you get to camp you really face you really see a lot of things that you shock next point guys your platoon will be on duty for like two times like twice during the old camp stay like it was one thing that i was not expecting okay now i think platoon one will resume for the first week is it first week or first i can't remember okay i have a very bad memory right now when your platoon is on duty you can either choose to be in the kitchen or sanitation department or security and i think there are others but those are the ones i can remember if, when you're in security you just stay 
maybe beside the gates or something i guess i didn't do security for sanitation you would just you know clean the surroundings clean your surroundings and make sure everything is cool then for kitchen you go there to wash plates to cook and the rest a lot of people really wanted to um you know do it i mean serve in the kitchen but me i don't really like cooking so i was really happy to run away from kitchen duties and i just went to sanitation i know as a girl now you have special treatments i had though i would just you know i'll just spray water in the gutter and the men were the guys were wash, um, washing it really that's so just put it in your in the back of your head that you're going to join either kitchen sanitation security or whatever and it is compulsory okay it is compulsory because in lagos camp they took our tags so when you are done with your duty you have to sign and they'll give you your tag like that okay you did something at least your platform so don't think you can escape all right guys my next point guys see i feel like a bunch of people already know this but i'll just say it for context okay if you don't want to parade join obs or you know red cross okay obs is orientation Broadcasting service, I really don't know. Okay, Red Cross is like the health for health workers and the rest. So if you know you don't want to join Pirate, okay, just join these groups. Personally, I wanted to join OBS, right? But I just kept procrastinating because I came to camp pretty early. I kept procrastinating, procrastinating, procrastinating to just go and tell them I want to join. Period. So the time I was free, in quote, to you know join, they already said, ah, sorry, or they already filled and. Mm. I was left to know that was shown because in my mind, if I come to camp, I already knew that okay, at least I want to do something. Something. So the other option was for me to just do parade, right? So um I lucky joined not lucky, I joined parade, period. The soldiers saw me and they said that I could match very well. So I was picked, I was selected to, you know, parade for my platoon. I was one of the people that did the parade for my platoon okay so my own point is if you know you don't want to do all of this just join obs and red cross very very early okay. so my mic is dead i will try to be more audible that's why i'm kind of like shouting right now okay pardon one me of the things i wish i really knew before going for campus that i would have just taken a request letter okay. guys if you have an organization you're working with or they just gave you like a new job please tell the company to give you a request letter so you just continue your service here dear okay it is very easy and there's a 90 percent possibility that you will just be posted there instead of going to camp without the request letter and they will just post you to a school or an organization or whatever but it's fine if you don't have a request letter you can just go and they will post you wherever but it's usually advisable to you know go to camp with a request letter so your posting will be easier in my next video i'm talking about how to get a, you know a good ppa job hunting and the rest but let me just wrap it up now get a request letter before going to camp next thing i wish i knew before going for camp was that i would have just been more open-minded and you know do activities outside my comfort zone guys i was just mentally getting ready to enjoy camp maybe the last week that's like the third week which which does not make sense honestly okay i would have just like wrapped my head around it that okay you are in a new environment because it really took a lot for me like i was not used to waking up that early i was not used to going to bed that late i was not used to a lot of i mean a lot of people are not used to it but some people are just they cope easily than other people okay i am not that kind of person like i'll take my time to cope okay now i i miss out of a lot of stuff i could not meet a bunch of people because i was just dealing with a lot mentally and I could not do a lot of activities, so please don't be like me. Make sure you, you know, prepare mentally before you go to camp, okay? I have anxiety, so it really took a lot from me to, you know, just even do the little, little activities that I did. So please don't be like me. Prepare your mind to, you know, meet people, talk to people, and, you know, do activities like that. My next point, guys, if you know that you are very lazy to do your laundry, please pack a lot of white tees, white socks, white tops a lot just like a lot because i personally i really do not like doing my laundry okay i'm just a soft girl so even my stockings i could not wash any pair like i was always giving it to the dry cleaner at mommy market so like i mean it makes sense to me but it might not make sense to you a bunch of people can you know at least wash their stockings wash their shirt but me i did not wash anything and i think i just took like four tops five shorts and like maybe five or four pairs of stockings right so I was always, you know, um, running out of them. And, you know, those them laundry people, they have, like, thousands of people close to wash. So, sometimes, I would not, I would be left not to be to an expert, right? So, it was really bad. So, if you know that you don't like doing laundry, please just pack a lot, a lot, a lot of white tees, white stockings, white tops, and the rest. So that, I mean, 
you enjoy your stay there. I wish I knew people were going to campus that see for the first one week you are going to cry because you're going to see shaggy. I'm not even capping because from registration to like hostel um, allocation to platoon, whatever, see, you will see shaggy. You will see shaggy, especially if you, you know, if you are, if you are taking it, it probably better in the like I said, in Iran and Zayn. So, and it, like, I was almost crying every day for the first one because I was I was tired. I was even telling my best girl, see, I'm leaving camp, okay? And yeah, that's one thing also. Leaving camp is very easy. That's one thing I wish I knew, right? Leaving camp is very easy. Just tell them, just do your situation, tell them that you're sick or you're married or something, and you, they will allow you to leave, okay? Now, sorry for digressing. Back to my point. You're going to see Shigi, you're going to cry, okay? Because these people are here to, you know, stress you. Some of you that are very soft, like a soft girl, soft guys. Just drop that atom, okay, and bring your gangster moment to come because you are ready. You should be ready to see shit. Now, last point, guys. I feel like people don't emphasize this enough. Please carry a lot of money. Carry a lot of money because you need money to eat. Personally, I didn't take my meal ticket because you know I was always eating in mommy market, okay? Like I am picky, so right. So just pack money, okay? Pack money because you you need money to you know buy food. You need money to you know um do your laundry, like I said already. You need money to you donate money, like I already said already, okay? Personally, I bought a bunch of provision. I bought I bought a lot. I bought a lot. You can check my my previous video, essential things to bring to come something like that. You can see my I bought a lot of provisions, but. Even to take coffee, I had to go to Mami Market to, you know, buy coffee from Nescafe, right? So, all these things, all these things, all the laundry, you have to pay money to slim fee stop. You really need money, okay? If you want to be mentally sane, if you want to be okay, if you want to be normal in camp, carry a lot of money. Carry a lot of money. But if you want to, you'll be taking, um, you'll be taking camp food if you know that you can wash your laundry, if you know that you can do all this stuff, please, I mean... I mean, I, I don't know what to say to you. Still carry money, Sha. Still carry money because you will definitely still spend money in camp. Guys, I think in a whole, I listed like 10 things I wish I knew before going to camp. Okay, please don't forget to add yours if you have gone to camp already. Tell me things in the comment section, things you wish you took or you knew before going for NYS camp. Okay, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video like I enjoyed filming it. And I will see you in my next video. Till then, stay safe, stay jiggy. Bye.